So how can we automate sending emails by using uh, via using a Gmail account? So first of all, you should have obvi obviously you should have a Gmail account. Here we have a D Gmail account, and here you can see that in sent folder it it is for now it is an empty folder. So whatever email we will send by using our code, it, it will be reflected over here, right? One thing. So the second thing is here is the module that we are going to use. Previously we were using PyWhatKit and now we are going to use SMTP lib. So SMTP is a pro uh, SMTP lib is a protocol client that will help us, um, you know, uh, sending the emails uh, to to any other account, any other um, email account, right? So here is the you know very hairy kind of do documentation if you want to read, um, but I'll make it very simple for you guys. So let's get started. So first of all, let's create a new file and let's name this file as email automation by the way you will get all these files in the course material so don't worry about it so let's add a few more cells as well now first thing first so first of all let's import um, smtp lib so I've already installed it so I'm that's why I'm not going to install it otherwise you can install it by using um, the the same method that we uh, did in, in the last lecture Ex exclamation mark pip install smtp lib right so um, and right away i'm just importing it and then from email dot mime dot multi part um i'm going to import um mime multi part right so this is uh, this is something that we that will be used if we want to uh, write a multi part email which means if we want to you know add from to subject cc message attachment stuff like that so this multi part thing will help us out the next thing is uh, we need almost the same thing so from email dot mime so th actually this is not mi double m this is single m so from email dot mime um, dot text we are going to import mime why am I writing double mime every time so mime text right so this is what we need uh, in order to uh, in order to write uh, in order to manipulate the text inside the email right uh, the next and the last thing is from email dot mime dot application we want to import mime application right so far so good great so we are done with the introduction of smtp lib we are done with it with, with the imports and let's run the cell to make sure that we have all these things um so let's run it and here we go so it has run successfully so um we are done with the introduction and imports in upcoming video we'll see how can we incorporate how can we attach our email which is this one how can we attach this email with our code so the first thing that we need is we need to attach our email address with this code so first of all we, we want to write our our email address so i'll say my address equals to so here in the string i'll write my email address which is contact ai sciences at gmail.com let me recheck the spelling so we don't make any mistake contact ai sciences at gmail.com great now the second thing is we want to write um, password of the email address from which we want to send the emails right now uh, this password will not be the exactly same password of this email address uh, it will be an encrypted password right so how can we get the encrypted password for the third party since since SMTP is a third party right so how can we get the encrypted password password for the third party um, so first of all we will go over there um, and we'll go to the apps we'll go to the account right so for, obviously I'm already logged into my contact AI sciences account so that's why I directly go into the set into the account then we'll go to the security and here we'll see an option of to set a password 
for for third party let me see so here you can see that app password so i already have one password um so let me delete it for you guys first and then i'll uh, I'll, I'll show you how can we add um another password so let me add my password okay so this is my uh, my actual email password i'm i'm trying i'm trying to log in now this was uh, the password that I, I created initially so let me just delete it um, okay so now here here we go here I can create another password so let me go back and let me show you from the beginning so now password is deleted you will see something like this app password none you will go over here from security you will see app password none oh I again have to write the email address okay so work right I hope this password works <clears throat> um, right so now here we have to select the device for the sake of simplicity we'll set other we'll, we'll say other device which means any device so here we'll say testing password uh, so let's make a testing email right so this will be the title and we'll generate it so here is the password right um, obviously you will not be able to use the same password you have to create your own one I will delete this password ex right after this this code the, uh, this tutorial will be done okay so you will hit done and I, have, I had already copied the password so I'll I'll paste that password over here right so now my uh, these two things will help me link my account to the SMTP lib right now what I will do and let me run this cell again so that these variables also gets initialized also get initialized now uh, first of all I'll create um, an instance of SMTP lib so I'll say SMTP lib dot SMTP in capital and here I'll say the host equals to um, SMTP dot Gmail so these are the things that you have to write as it is because we are since we are using Gmail server and it's port is um, 587 right so th this is the thing that you have to use as it is you do not have to be worried about it the next thing is we'll, we'll say s dot start TLS so it will start the servers and then we'll say s dot login now we want to log into the server by using our cred credentials right so first credential is going to be our email address so here is my address and then the password here is the password this email address is coming from here right the contact AI science is at Gmail and this password is coming from here the encrypted password this is not I repeat this is not not the same password I told you how can you generate your own password so this is how you can link your um, any Gmail account with SMTP server so far we are done with the introduction of SMTP and uh, we are done with the linking our uh, gmail account with smtp server in upcoming video we will actually send an email all right let's finally we have done our pre-processing now let's finally send an email so first of all we will instantiate an object of multi-part multi-part right mime multi-part so here we, here we'll say um maybe message equals to mime multi-part and we are going to instantiate an object of my multipart right the next thing is we are going to now we are going to populate its dictionary so we'll say message and in the in the from we want to write so um so uh, from which email address we want to send the message so i want to send a message from my address which that i have stored over here right uh, the next thing is to whom I want to send the email so to to whomever you want to send the email you will write that email address over here so let's say in my case it is going to be I mean the yeah, four five seven triple five two at gmail dot com right and the next thing is um, another important thing while writing an email is um, you should write a relevant subject as well right so subject is going to be um, let's say testing okay since we are testing right so we are texting uh, testing the text email this is going to be the subject the next thing is 
next thing is not message so here we are going to we are actually going to write the body of message so we'll say message equals to um, so here we'll say hello um, please subscribe to AI sciences right so here is um, so here, this is going to be our message now we want to attach our message um, our, our this message with MSG right which is going to be which was the my multi part object right so we'll say MSG dot um, attach and with attach we will will write mime text and inside mime mime text we'll say message comma so we are going to write a plain message not a bold one or not uh, not an underline or Italian one so it is going to be a plain message right and the next thing is next thing is we are done we now we just want to send the message so we'll say s dot now what is s s is a is an instance of smtp lib so we'll say s dot um send underscore message and here we'll we'll paste a, a, a msg which is message so there are two things first of all there is a server that will help us sending the message that is called smtp lib so we we instantiated an, an object of smtp lib in s variable right now the second thing is my multi part that contains the content of email right so these are two different things so now content is ready in msg variable right message variable and here is the server so server s dot send message and inside it we are going to paste the or we are going to pass uh, the content of email as a parameter right so let's run it uh, pre, uh, before we run it let me go back and here you can see that in send email let me refresh it as well there is no no sent email over here so let me send an email let me hit run button let's see if there is any error looks like looks like it's running there is no error let's go over here here we go you can see that uh, a message is sent to um, this email that we wrote over there and the the subject of email is testing the text email and and then uh, here is the content of email hello please subscribe to AI sciences now sometimes we also have to we also have to uh, attach an attachment maybe CSV file maybe PDF file um, with with an email so can we attach an attachment along with our email by using Python by using coding I'll answer this question in coming video alright so here I have a report dot CSV that I want to attach with an email that I want to send to my maybe my boss my colleague my friend or my employee right so this report.csv is exactly in the same folder where my email automation uh, dot Jupyter notebook file is residing so if uh, these both files are in the same folder then we just have to write the name of report.csv or, or any uh, file that we want to attach if these files are in different folders then we also have to add the address from here uh, from here we, we want we have to add the address of the relevant file as well right so coming back over here our previous code now here with the msg which is the content of our email we want to attach our, attach an attachment as well so here what we will do is first of all we'll open the file so we'll say with open now here we'll say um, report.csv right you, you can uh, send any file either it is going to be PDF CSV uh, a picture or whatever um, and then uh, we will say that we are opening it for the reading purpose and then here uh, actually we have to say we have to tell it open it as file right now here uh, msg dot attach and inside it we'll say mime application right uh, remember mime application that we imported over here and here we are going to use it so mime application and inside it we are going to say file dot read right and that's it so what is file file is going to be this instance that is in which we are opening the report dot csv right okay um, the next thing is we have to uh, 
name this file uh, for and let's name let's give it the same name uh, as it was previously so let's say um, report dot csv right along with extension as well and guess what we are done these these two lines will actually attach the file actually this one line will attach the file with our email content and the um, the 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 above line this this line that is highlighted right now it is just going to to open that file so this only one line is going to attach that file um, with our email content which is available over here so msg as i told you previously msg contains our email content it contains um, our uh, the, the email address of sender email address of receiver subject content of the email let's change the content of the email as well so um, let's say hello um, hello please find a report file in attachment right so now all I have to do is and then after that obviously I'm already sending the email so now all I have to do is I have to hit the run button before but before hitting the run button let me go over here let me refresh the page and you can see that there is only one email that was the previous one right and also let me change the subject of email as well so let's say testing with um, attachment right testing with uh, so te uh, testing the attachment email um, yeah we are done let me hit the run button it will take a few seconds and magic will happen here we go right so it is returning an empty dictionary if there is an any error it will return the error this empty dictionary means it uh, I mean our code is successfully run so if we go over here here you, you can see that this is the f this is the email that we sent so you can read the subject of this email testing the attachment email and the subject for previous email was testing the text email this shows that this is a different email right now let me open it and it uh, subject says that hello please find a report file in uh, in attachment and here is the attachment here it says that one attachment right so uh, obviously you can attach multiple attachments as well so um, you can download this file and whatever you want to do with it so that's about it that's about it now you, you can see the power of this SMTP lib why uh, I mean it has two benefits one is obviously you can send um, you can automate sending emails to anyone this is one benefit another benefit is um, you can also schedule sending an email just like uh, previous module we scheduled sending the the whatsapp message you can also schedule sending an email as well mm -hmm.